My name is Laura Kahonde. I'm a Ugandan actress, both film and theater, and this is my story. I did a lot of singing in school and not much of the acting. I think everyone perceived me as a singer because of my sister. But uh, if I was asked to choose, I think I would pick acting first. So I joined uh, around 2009, 2010. I was uh, transitioning from uh, senior six to university. And my first project was um, Hearts in Pieces with Marianne Dagie, who are the pioneers of her now Marianne Dagie film and performing arts center. So she trained me, she did a lot. I went ahead and worked with Matt Bish. Uh, I've worked with uh, John Segawa, and um, John Segawa is the person who has trained me as far as uh, uh, theatre is concerned. So it, it posed a bit of a challenge, but uh, he was patient with me, he uh, taught me a lot. And now I think I'm getting more comfortable with doing both. And what I love about uh, theatre is it's raw, it's real, you, you, you can't fake anything. Once you stand on stage, you have to do it. The films I've been a part of, there's uh, Love Faces, uh, Hearts in Pieces, Dear Mom, Where We Belong, uh, short films, Hello, Singaya Ligwe, and then uh, TV shows, I've been uh, part of Second Chance Uganda, uh, Honorary Boys, um, J Rose. And then for stage, I've been a part of uh, Tears of the Sun and Obsessions, Sebalam Tevesigwa, uh, Zansanze, Cry My Village Baby. First and foremost, what it takes to be an actress is patience. You have to educate yourself. You have to find other skills that you can do. The biggest challenge is uh, the film industry is not yet paying actors as they deserve. That's the hardest part. And then we work long hours. Most actors don't drive, so they are unsafe out there. I think for me to overcome those challenges is the love I had for acting, for film. Like, for me, nothing comes before acting. I'll drop everything else. I think the only thing that would have me think twice between acting and something else is when family calls. What's wrong with you? Where are you going? What should be done to reduce uh, foreign content on our TVs? Um, First of all, we need support from the government and TV stations. There are a lot of creative people here. They are writing wonderful uh, scripts and coming up with all sorts of beautiful ideas, but they cannot bring them to, uh, to fruition because they don't have the money they need. And also, uh, the other way they can, the government can help us is the content that is coming in from out there should be reduced. Clear. Sorry. Very clear. Where are my They're here. If you are a young creative and you want to get into this industry, you need to have patience. You need to have discipline. You will be a good actor, you will have all the skills, you will have the best talent. But if you're going to disturb people on set, they're not going to hire you. They would rather take someone who has a bit of talent and train them because if someone has a bit of talent they can be trained. Some of us are surviving because we love what we do. Like everything else is not going right but when the cameras roll all that is history. It's, it's, it's your time to you know give your best. <laughs> <laughs> 